Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're taking a look at new lighting products from Lightsall. All right, everybody, welcome back. So today we're taking a look at some new products that were sent to me from Lightsall. Um, I've been playing around with these products for a couple of days now, and I'm really, really impressed with them. Um, these are kind of like the newest of their innovative kind of stuff, and that's what I like about Lightsall in general. They come out with stuff that's new and fresh and different, and if it flops, it flops, but most of the time it's very successful, and you'll see other flashlight companies kind of adapting to what they've done. So... The first thing we're taking a look at is probably my favorite of all these items here today, and that is the Kodiak Compress Rechargeable Collapsible Lantern. So this is a unique rechargeable feature-filled lantern and a USB power bank. It has water-resistant silicone on it, and you can pull up on that, and you'll end up getting a very nice area light, or you can leave it collapsed as a spotlight. It has three brightness modes from 300 to a max of 2500 lumens, it also lets you select a 50 lumen amber setting for a softer, more subtle light that's probably good for a tent. On the back of this, you'll see a spring-loaded hook, okay? And it's kind of a kickstand as well. You'll be able to hang this from a loop on top of your tent or kind of like hang it from the side. You also have a loop up here that you can hang from the top of your tent as well if you don't want that direct light down into it. It's powered by a 6,000 milliamp hour lithium ion internal battery which also doubles it as a power bank to charge smartphones and tablets. And the included recharging cable will charge this from any USB power source. So those of you with power banks, those of you with uh, portable little uh, chargers, whatever, you got the little cable right here. It is USB-C, and it will charge pretty much anything. So let me demo how it opens up, and then we'll demo the light for it too. First thing you got to do is pull up on it, and there you go. Now, the bottom here... That's this little plug, if I can get this out with one hand. There we go, with two hands. You have it like that, like that. You can also clamp it. If you wish to clamp it onto something, it does snap into place very well. There's one mode right there. Let's go through the modes. There's the amber mode. Now what I'm going to do is turn off all the lights and let you see how much it lights up my area here, just using that. All right, we are in complete darkness in here. I'm going to hit the button, and the button is visible to me at least. There we go. So I could hang this up here, and heck, I could film a video using this thing, I mean, you know, if I had to. Let's go to the next mode here. I'm going to try to keep it up so it doesn't blind the camera. Okay, one after that one. If I can get my finger on it, there we go. Okay, now here's your 50 amber light, your 50 lumen amber light. Kind of got that old flashlight kind of glow to it. Definitely cool. Um, if you were, say, inside a tent and you wanted a night light, that would definitely work very, very, very well. So, let's turn the lights back on and get back into the product. I'll tell you everything there is to know about it. All right, lights back on. Here we are. Uh, one of the things I did notice about this when I was messing around with it is these do tend to glow a little bit. This is where you'll be charging everything from. You'll either be charging your phone or charging your light in here. And this is your power button over here. Uh, to collapse this, very simple. Just push down. You don't have to be careful about how it folds. You just push down on it, and it folds up nice and neat. So the technical specs on this. you got a 6,000 milliamp hour internal, internal battery to charge smartphones with it as well. You've got a collapsible, flexible silicone shade here, 7.5 inches to 3 inches tall when collapsed. You've got four light modes, the 2,500 lumens, 1,200 lumens, 300 lumens, and the 50 lumen amber. You get up to a 13-hour runtime fully charged in the 300 lumen mode, 144 hours in the 50 lumen amber mode. So if you do need something that's going to last a long time, you have those last two modes. For 13 hours and 300 lumens is pretty darn good. It is water resistant. It hangs to either top to bottom or bottom to top. The bottom retractable part here can be used as a kickstand as well. Again, I can't seem to get it out with my hand there. So you can use it as a kickstand like that if you're working on something and you need the light projected on it. Okay. It is a spotlight or floodlight pattern. It packs easily into backpacks or travel bags, even be kind of cool in your car. Now expanded, 7.5 inches by 6.6 .6 inches wide by 6.6 .6 inches diameter. Uh, compressed is 3 inches tall, 6.6 .6 wide, 6.6 .6 deep. So definitely a cool little light. Let's move on to the next thing, and that's this big monster here. That is the Kodiak Kirin. All right, this guy here is insane. 
This thing is ridiculously bright. Believe it or not, this is a 10,000 lumen tactical flashlight. Okay, this provides a stunning 10,000 lumens of light, aerospace grade aluminum construction, so it's not going to go anywhere. It's kind of beefy to it, too. I mean, if you had to use this as a uh, self defense type weapon, it would definitely work. Kind of reminds me of the old mag lights, but it's definitely got some heft to it. It's rechargeable, so there's no need to mess with batteries. Convenient charging level indicators right across the top here will tell you. Right there, you see how bright that is. Don't worry, we're going to test it outside in a second. <laughs> so you can tell right there that it's, uh, it's good to go. It's powered by a 5,000 milliamp hour rechargeable 26650 lithium battery, okay? You can also charge your phone off this on the go. Just plug your phone into the USB port of the flashlight, and you don't have to worry about making an important call if your phone is dead or whatever. Okay, it's got three brightness settings, the 10,000, the 5,500, and the 900 lumens max of light. So, expect 2.5 hours of continuous light on high. 2.5 hours of 10,000 lumens, that's insane. Four hours on medium, 6.5 hours on low, and a full charge to charge this up fully can take up to nine hours. That is a very large battery in there. It measures 11.25 inches, 2.5 inches, 2.25 inches diameter. The head is two inches up top here, and you will notice it is a magnified cob LED under there. Okay, it's got a two inch body and it weighs around two pounds. So let's take this outside and demo this thing. All right, so I do have my house lights on, but it really won't make a difference when I turn this monster on here. So let's get it on the top level right off the bat. And there you go. Now that's 10,000 lumens. Move down one. Down one. And even at the lowest level, this thing is super, super bright. So what we're going to do, after that car passes, is I'm going to show you how it turns itself in so you can get a smaller beam. Now there's 10,000 lumens. I'm going to shrink that beam down, as you can see. So you get a really precise beam, and it is a perfect circle. I know it looks oval, but it is a circle. So let's point it down across the street and see how well that big beam works. All right, now we're looking straight across the street here. And there you go. Now let's focus the beam down a bit. So there you go. So you've got a really nice spotlight. It doesn't seem to reach as far as some lights, but it does seem to reach out when you get up to that hill. I picked it up a little bit. It does seem to reach out pretty far. So that's pretty cool. Okay, there's your 10,000 lumens. And your next level, and your lowest. Even your lowest is super bright, but that 10,000 lumens is insane. So yeah, this is definitely a cool, cool, bright flashlight. All right, let's get back on the table. All right, so that was pretty darn impressive. Um... You know, even with the other lights that I demo on this channel, I got to say, that is probably the brightest flashlight. I don't know, you know, the throw is pretty good. Again, I'm in a very weird position where I'm at. My, my driveway goes down, and then the other side goes up like this, but not much. So it's hard to say, you know, when you see that little edge there, that edge of dirt, and then there's flat. So there's really nothing to shine it on. But you did see when I shined it on the other side there, that thing is bright and beefy too. So, you know, if you're looking for something that can kind of double as a get away from me type item, as well as a uh, flashlight, you definitely got it right there. Now, to charge up, you're going to be opening it up here. There's your charge port. There is your port to charge your cell phones from. And, of course, here are your indicators. Again, we'll take it down to a sane level. That's a full charge. You can see all the indicators right there. So, I'm definitely impressed with the thing. It does get a little warm, but i got to say, during that whole demo, it just got ever so slightly warm. Not hot at all. And that was a Pretty decent demo of uh, how long it was out there. Now, in the end, I'll get into pricing on all this stuff, but I want to get into the two other budget-friendly kind of options. All right, here. so the next thing, again, I've demoed one light like this before. It wasn't as reliable or as bright as this one, but it did work. This is the Lights All Bright Band headband light. Now, one of the things I love about this, and I love these kind of lights in general, is the Cobb LED. You have this big, wide-open area here. You're not wearing a headlamp with one little focused beam that just goes right out in front of you. This wides, lights up a wide, wide area, and we're going to try it inside the garage here to show you just how wide of an area it lights up. Um, one button on the back, that's simple. Charge it up, very, very easy to do. Um, it does have, by the way, this little plug here is for the demo. Um, in the box, there's a little thing that says try me, and it's a little button. That really doesn't serve a purpose other than just to do that in the box. In here, you will have rechargeable batteries. If I can get them out without breaking my nails. There we go. 
you can put rechargeables in. I don't believe these are rechargeables. No, they're not. Uh, but you can put rechargeables in there. But it's just three AAAs. Very, very easy to use. So, this thing will run for 3.5 hours on high, 5 hours on low, and 7 hours on strobe. That's a pretty impressive uh, runtime. Again, they get some amazing runtimes out of this stuff. So, let's take this over to the other side here and do a demo and show you how bright this thing really is. All right, complete darkness. As you can tell, there's just a little light seeping in from outside. Let's turn on on high. Now you can see just how bright that is. And I like that because it allows you to kind of see everything. You're not stuck just looking at one little, you know, focused beam or area. I mean, wherever you're looking is just totally lit up. And the camera isn't really doing it justice. Because it's a wider, more diffuse beam, it doesn't look as bright on camera, but it really is bright. You can see it in my hand here. You can see how bright that is. Move to the next level. There you go. And then you have your strobe. I guess that would be handy in signaling. I won't give anybody uh, any kind of seizures there, so I won't run it too long. But the nice part about it is, is it feels very natural. I'm moving my head around like crazy here, and you're really not seeing much movement in the light. When you have a headband, if you've got to turn your head around a lot, which I'm doing right now, you know, you, you're still getting that same bright, wide angle of light. You're not getting that beam focusing everywhere and not paying attention to your peripherals on the sides here, which is really important when you might be out walking in the woods. All right, let's finish up on the table. I'll give you a last little bit of information on it, and we'll move to the next item. So you've got up to 200 max lumens on this. Very nice, wide, diffuse light. You have the high visibility, high brightness one, the low brightness, and the strobe modes. High visibility and darkness with a low ambient light, which is nice. Like I explained to you, you have such a wide area of light that you don't need this ridiculously powerful, cutting through everything beam. It gives you just enough light to see, but it's not going to blind everybody in your party should you turn around. You know, 200 lumens isn't super bright, but with a wider beam, it gives you more of a natural kind of feeling when you're looking at stuff. You can wear this over hard hats or hoodies or anything like that. It's fully adjustable. Got 180 degrees of bright light. It's perfect for job sites, camping, jogging, cycling, whatever. And again, it's powered by the three AAAs. Again, if you're big into rechargeables, you can get rechargeables for it. But, you know, you can always carry an extra pack with you. It's really not that horrible. And like I said, you got 3.5 hours on high, 5 on low, and 7 on strobe. So that's a pretty decent flashlight. Maybe two or three packs of batteries and you'd be fine. All right, let's move on to the last one, and then we'll get into pricing on all of these. And that is the Lightsol TRP-coated retactical rechargeable flashlight. Now, this is the Lightsol Ultac, okay, Ultac 1, actually. The first thing you're going to notice when you pick this thing up is, oh, i got to put batteries in it. It's that light. It's unbelievably light. It's insane. I mean, seriously, when I cut it out of the packaging, I was like, uh-oh, I hope they sent me batteries for it. And uh, there's no battery to put in it. It's got batteries in it. So it's super, super lightweight. Um, all right, so this is a Cobb flashlight. Again, that's chip on board. You'll notice that here. The chips are on board on this piece back here. You also have a, a light in front. It is five times more lightweight than comparable flashlights in its class. And I'm telling you, when you pick it up, you're going to think, oh, i got to put batteries in this, and you don't. That's the coolest thing about it. The Altac 1 features an innovative hybrid kind of beam to it. All right, it combines a tightly focused spot with a wide beam all in one. The light beam reaches a usable distance of 643 feet. So you've got three light modes on it. High, which is two, uh, 320 lumens for 2.5 hours. Medium, which is 140 lumens for 3 hours. And low, which is 50 lumens for 8 hours. The side-mounted Cobb work light here is 195 lumens with a 4.5 hour runtime. I would think something like this would be kind of cool to stick in your car, maybe in an emergency bag. You know, we just did that video of what's in my car emergency kit. Something like this would be really handy to stick in there. It's only to take it out every six months and charge it up. Uh, definitely a cool little flashlight and so lightweight, doesn't take up a lot of space. So you also have the dual function indicator, just like the other light here, that will show you where this light is at. You can see it's blue now, it's full, okay? get through that. Whoops, sorry. Turn that off. It does come with a cable right there, basic cable, and it charging time for 100% is about two hours, so it's really not that bad. Another thing I like about this is the feeling on it. It's got that rubberized, that's what that TRP coating is. It's kind of a smooth resin rubberized coating, so it doesn't feel like it's going to slip out of your hand at any point. 
Very, very cool little light. So let's take it over to the other side of the room and demo it as well. All right, so we're not at a super long distance, but it is, again, fully dark in here. And there we go. Now you'll notice the fluttering. That does not show up on this. That's just the, the frequency at which this LED, you know, radiates on the camera. It does not look like that in person. One of the things I like about it, see that nice spot? But you see all this open ambient light around it? You got a nice little spill plus the spot. That's high. And again, we're going to get flashing as it goes down. That's medium. And that's your strobe. Here's your work light. Okay, that's that cob chip on board light on the side. I'm going to try to show it to you without blinding you. And there you go. Okay, pretty cool handy work light. Again, it's fluttering because of the camera, not because of the light. Just two different frequencies at work there. And the light does not glow. The little, the little button doesn't glow on this one. But definitely a nice bright light and definitely lightweight and handy. I mean, I wouldn't feel under flashlighted if that is such a word. <laughs> Carrying this around in the dark. Definitely a cool little system. So, let's take it back up on the table, finish up the information on it, and I'll tell you the prices on all of them and where you can pick them up. All right, so here is your light over here. We were talking about it before. So your high is going to be 320 lumens, medium 140, and low 50. Side-mounted work lights 195, like we went through before. It's that hybrid kind of flashlight beam, but yet you have a little bit of spill on it. It's ready for you fully charged in two hours. A 1200 milliamp hour battery, which is non-removable. And it's made of that high strength resin smooth rubberized TRP coating. I gotta say, I really like that coating on flashlights. Um, it's also a coating that doesn't get sticky after a while. If you've ever had a flashlight with that rubberized coating, um, some of the other types of coatings, if they get heated up and cooled down and heated up and cooled down, I know because keeping them in my car, they'll get sticky. You don't want that. This stuff does not get sticky. So, let's go into prices. Let's start off with the expensive one. The Kirin, the 10,000 lumen light right here, that is $119.99, so $120. Bucks. But for a 10,000 lumen flashlight, you're going to expect that's how much it's going to cost you. So, that's not really all that shocking. Next up is the Kodiak Compress. That is $64.99, so $65 bucks right here. This is probably the most innovative product that they put out um, recently, I would say, you know, as far as these go, because I really like the, the convenience of this. Not only is it a power bank, it's a very nice bright light. It's a spotlight. It can be a work light. It could be a tent, tent light, a camp light, whatever. Even an emergency light in your own home. I mean, I can imagine I can hang this off of my, uh, you know, my fan in my living room, you know, my fan light, and uh, just clip it on there somewhere, and that thing would light up my entire living room at high. So that's a really cool thing. All right, and that is, like I said, 65 bucks, 64.99. Now we get into the budget stuff, okay? The headband, 24.99, 25 bucks. And you saw that perform. I really like that big wide beam instead of a focused spot. Really, really like that. Feels really well made, I got to say that too. You know, just it's it's put together well and it's run off simple batteries. So if you're not a fan, I used to hate rechargeables. Let me tell you straight up, I used to hate rechargeable batteries cuz they didn't seem to work very well. You know, I'd buy the double A's and triple A's and recharge them once or twice. And every time I recharge them, they seem to have less power. So if you're an old school battery person, that's light for you. However, you can get rechargeables on that. And they do work a whole lot better than they used to years ago. And last up, okay, is the TRP coated rechargeable tactical flashlight over here. And that one is the cheapest of everything here. 20 bucks, 19.99. Definitely a good deal. Really like the beam on it where it's got a focus spot in the middle but a big wide open spread around so you can see pretty much everything with that light. So those are the new lights all, the new lights all lights that uh, they were kind enough to send to me. Um, I'm glad you guys got a chance to check them out with me and see what they are. Uh, I really do like their products. I have a couple of their older products and I believe I did a review on one of their smaller flashlights and uh, the marketing department contacted me, you know, just for full disclosure, said, hey, would you like to try out some of our stuff? So there it is for you to see. I'm really impressed with it. I'm definitely going to be using some of these. I'm definitely keeping this guy. That's insane. <laughs> that light is so bright. And I could see it being handy as like a bedside light too. You know, if, something's, if, you, if you live in a wide open area where you have, may have to run outside and see what's going on, something like that, really, really cool. So I will give you a little site down below. It's lightsall.com. That's L-I-T-E-Z-A-L-L.com. Very, very simple. You can check them out there. They have a ton of other stuff as well. So don't forget to check them out. And I got to say, I'm impressed with these lights. They work very, very well for what they are. 
They're not um, crazy, crazy expensive. You know, that yeah, that's 120 bucks. But what does a normal 10,000 lumen flashlight from, say, Streamlight or Olight or whatever cost you? A whole lot more than that. So, you gotta say, definitely good budget-friendly type items, even the more expensive ones. And I really like the headband. That's really, really cool. So, folks, I thank you for watching. All the links will be down below where you can check out this stuff. I'm not going to do individual links because of the nature of their site. I'll just put the one link there and you can search for anything that you're interested in. Um, don't forget to check out our Amazon affiliate store down below there. You can see anything that I review on the channel that's on Amazon there. So if I leave a detail out, you can check it out. Don't forget to check out freeze-dried wholesalers, folks. This um, slowdown and delivery issues and all that getting really bad. Um, locally here, I went into three different stores and we had no coffee. If you don't drink coffee, that doesn't seem like a big deal. But what happens when it's, there's no hamburger, there's no steak, there's no chicken, there's no beef, anything. You know what I mean? So definitely stock up. My link will get you 15% off. If you click that link, it'll get you 15% off. Now, he did have to recently raise his prices a little bit, but the link will negate that and help you out a whole lot. Don't forget our My Patriot supply link. Last month, I tell you, I think we broke a record. People are ordering a lot of storage food. Um, people know what's coming, so it's a good idea to stock up. That's preparewithiridium.com, preparewithiridium.com, and... Don't forget our Thrive Life freeze-dried food. We do have some October specials this month. I will be going into that. Um, there's a bunch of bundles and stuff for uh, delivery customers and consultants. So we'll definitely go into that in a minute. And I'll show you that. Uh, not in a minute. Next video. And I'll show you that uh, coming up soon. Anyway, folks, I thank you for watching. Stay safe and stay prepared.